Spanning tree protocol backbone fast. In this video, I'm going to talk about the next feature related to the STP or traditional STP, we call it backbone fast. Actually, in the network backbone or core layer, a different method is used to shorten STP convergence time. You know that a switch detects an indirect link failure when it receives inferior BPDU from its designated bridge on either its root port or a block port. Here, for example, assume that we have a simple scenario, switch 1, switch 2, and switch 3, and switch 1 is our root bridge, the ports of the switch 1 are designated ports, and as you can see in the switch 2 we have root port, as the gigabit 01 is the root port, and gigabit 02 is the designated port, and then in the switch 3 the gigabit 01 is the root port, and gigabit 02 is alternate port. Assume that this link failed. Okay, you know that now switch 2 doesn't have connectivity to the switch 1 to the root bridge because of that it should send, it should announce itself as the root bridge. Actually, inferior BPDUs are sent from a designated pre bridge means switch 2 that has lost its connection to the root bridge making it announce itself as the new root bridge. You know that normally the switch 3 must wait for the max age timer about 20 seconds to expire before responding to the inferior BPDU. However, backbone fast begins to determine whether other alternative paths to the root bridge exist according to the sum rules. Let me to first review uh, the previous uh, functions, previous concept that you saw before and after that I will explain the backbone fast feature. For now I am going to show you that we will have about 50 seconds of delay for uh, for example connectivity establishment. First we should configure this scenario, this is the switch 1. In the switch 1 I am going to use enable configure terminal and then host name switch 1. Then let me to configure this switch as the root bridge we can use a spanning tree okay a spanning tree and after that uh, for example vlan1 then root primary that's it this is the switch one configuration and then in the switch two let me to configure enable configure terminal host name switch two okay and then here uh, we don't need to configure anything because the Mac of switch 2 is lower than the Mac of switch 3 and then in the switch 3 finally hostname configure terminal hostname is switch uh, for example 3 and then let me to show you uh, now wh uh, what is uh, happening after this configuration in the switch 1 show a spanning tree look at here here in the switch one, as you can see, we have only two interface, but here we have more than two interface. This is because of the emulator. Let me to shut down all of the not uh, non-used interfaces. Look at here, show a spanning tree. Uh, for example, here we have only gigabit 01 and gigabit 02. Let me to shut down other interfaces because be this is because of the emulator interface range gigabit 00 and then a gigabit 0. Uh, three and after that gigabit one zero two uh, gigabit one three okay let me to shut down all of these interfaces now we can easily see the result of show a spanning tree after some seconds show a spanning tree this bridge is the root bridge as you can see for vlan one and gigabit zero one and gigabit zero two both of them are designated ports all right, now let me to talk about the switch 2. In the switch 2, show a spanning tree also uh, can show us that we should uh, shut down some interfaces. Look at here, gigabit 01, 02, and 03. 03 now is working. Okay, because of that, we should shut down gigabit 00. And after that, gigabit, uh, for example, 102131, one, then a 0. Let, let me to show you, shut down. That's it. Interface range gigabit 00, zero and then gigabit 10 gigabit uh, to 3. That's it. Shut down. So easy. Do show a spanning tree after some second. It can show us that we have one root port, one des and two designated ports. Look at here. Gigabit 01 is the root port, gigabit 02 and gigabit 03. Both of them are designated ports. All right. And finally, in the switch tree, do show a spanning tree. Look at here. Again, here we should shut down some interfaces. Interface gigabit 00. In the real device, you don't need to shut down these interfaces. And after that, here gigabit 00, gigabit 1, 0, 2, 3. 
okay interface range again don't forget the range keyword and after that shutdown show a spanning tree easily can show us that gigabit 01 is the root port gigabit 02 is the alternate port and gigabit 03 is the designated port now let me to show you what happened when you for example you experience fail in the link between the switch one and switch two if you want you can use debug in the switch three debug spanning three events okay also here we have two pc let me to show you i'm going to use them for uh, for the connectivity check ip of pc1 is 10.0.0.1 to uh, for example mask is 24 gateway is 10.0.0254 this is the vpc1 and about the pc2 ip is 10.0.0.224 and gateway is 10.0.0.254 now let me to check the connectivity between the PC1 and PC2. This is the uh, PC1, okay, ping 10.0.0.2, I repeated ping for example, we have connectivity and now everything is working. Let me to shut down the interface a gigabit 01 of the switch 2. In the switch 3, okay, in the switch 3, I'm going to use debug spanning tree events, event, okay. And then in the I switch to I'm going to shut down the gigabit zero one. Look at here configure terminal and then interface a gigabit zero one shutdown. Okay. In the switch tree, as you can see now, we receive inferior BPDU. Okay, from the switch two because switch two doesn't have connectivity to the switch one. After twenty second, okay, we will have the listening state in the switch tree. Look at here. After twenty second, uh, we will see the listening state. Look at here. The, uh, this is after twenty second. You should start from twelve, twelve to, and after the here five hundred twenty two from five hundred to uh, here. 500 uh, for ex here we have 12 and here we have 32 it means that 20 second we wait waited and after that after 50 second we will experience the learning state and after 50 second we will experience the forwarding state what does it mean it means that after 50 second we will have connectivity look at here in the uh, for example the communic uh, communication between the pc1 and pc2 we have this amount of timeout all right, this is the traditional STP slow convergence for indirect link failure. Backbone fast works by having a switch actively determine whether alternative paths exist to the root bridge in case the switch detect an indirect link failure. Okay, indirect link failure occur when a link that is not directly connected to a switch fail. For example, here in the switch tree, uh, after uh, the configuration of backbone fast, we will see that switch tree should send some special packets to the switch one to the root bridge. Okay, from its root port, we call them root link query or RLQ. It means that if the root bridge is available here, please uh, send me the reply. And after that, we don't wait, need to wait uh, 20 seconds. Actually, we want to reduce the convergence time from 50 seconds to 30 a second in with the with the help of backbone fast let me to show you here in the uh, for example switch to let me to enable the gigabit zero one again no shutdown here in the switch three uh, as let me to undebug the debug and un undebug all here assume that the switch tools interface a uh, gigabit zero one now fail again and we have backbone fast in this uh, for example scenario i will talk about the configuration of the backbone fast after that you will see that switch tree okay should send some specific and some special packets we call them rlq or root link query okay uh, from its root port to the uh, switch one to the to the to the uh, direction of the root bridge if it receive root uh, rlq response okay from the uh, from switch one it and uh, it understand that the root bridge is available because of that available on the gigabit zero one and because of that it doesn't need to wait for about 20 seconds you know that we need to wait for max age timer because we don't we, we want to ensure that the root bridge is available on which port 
but if you ask from the root bridge directly actually actively find the root bridge you don't need to wait because of that if 